No, they're endangering the, park, the, the public. How? How is that endangering the public? The biggest safety issue with bike lanes are cars parked in the park. I will, I will look up to see what the law is. Oh. I don't know what it is when there's no delivery zone it's, readily available. Okay. He's clearly doing his job. He's got his emergency flashers on. You know what I mean? And he's, okay. do, he's dropping it off and he's leaving. And it's NRS 484B. Si no, 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 I'm not. You haven't even no, heard the whole code I know, yet. Because I can look it up. It says no parking anytime. We, he also was parked beyond the limit okay. line for, so for, I'll, for the, for, I'll look for it the up, but yard. I also know that they have 15 minutes to do their delivery. No, and get in their not in the red zone. Okay. We're not here to no, stand by while I'm, you argue. I'm informing you. I'm, 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 I'm informing you. We have a loading zone across the street. We, with them. Okay, you said I, it's multiple Amazon drivers a day. So this might be his first time here. I don't know. In the red zone. I think we can all agree that there's an issue here that we need to take up with maybe city council or parking enforcement like that to deal with this. Is, is he parked park, illegally? So did you stand in front of his car when he was trying to leave? I was, I was standing in the bike lane. Okay, but he was trying to leave and you were stopping him. He backed leave. up and then he sat there, got on his phone and started talking. He also said you got on his hood preventing him from leaving. Really? When did he, does he have cameras? I did not do that. I did not touch his vehicle in any way. He's lying. He's saying, that he, he told me while I was on the, on the phone with the representative from Reno PD, he said that I was kidnapping him. Now that's bombastic. I'm gonna press charges for kidnapping because you're holding me hostage, you're not letting me go. You're standing in front of my truck. So to inform, to inform everyone, the delivery zone is in the back off of Sierra Street. We have an entire parking lot and it has a designated loading area. He is one driver amongst who knows how many who arrive at this location trying to deliver packages. But that doesn't matter. So just letting him know isn't going to educate the entire delivery When I used to service. deliver mail for the mail okay. service, uh, oh, I used to be a U.S. postal carrier, a city carrier, and we had to inform each other by word of mouth. I didn't. You didn't stand in front of this vehicle? I stood in front of the vehicle on the crosswalk. That doesn't make sense. That, that's exactly. I was not trying to prevent him from leaving. I think he's trying to put up an argument to make me look like a liar. If he is beyond the, this limit line here, you see the, the triangles? That's called a yield line. Cars are supposed to be behind that, but okay. it feels like that you're not taking no, this looking, seriously. I, how is it not taking seriously when I'm trying to find the applicable law? Because you, because you already told me you're not going to cite him. I'm not. He was threatened by your actions. How? So by no means. You're, you're saying I? Action. How can we're threatened by his actions? Okay. Good. It's a safety hazard. All right. So we have a parking enforcement agent on their way who are very educated and good on this stuff. They do it all day. I've talked to them many times in different areas. Okay. I am I'm very familiar with them. So we have a catch-22 here. The problem is that the city council and the engineers say that it must be enforced. We have the traffic engineer, Paul Ellison, who says we do not need delineators along this area because it's already marked off as red and cars should know that they're not supposed to park here. I've literally been told by enforcement, uh, by, by engineering, that they will not put the flexi post here because it's already red zone. They said they only need the flexi post where people park. I said that's ludicrous. By the way, my dash cam captured the entire thing. So we can find out if I quote unquote hold someone hostage or put my hands on oh, his he vehicle. Wanted, he wanted to follow a report and I told him we weren't gonna do it. So. He's, he's full of shit. I did not even I did not even touch his vehicle.
standing in front of my truck. That's part of it. That's part. You are in front of my truck. I had to back up. I had to back up. You're holding me hostage. You're holding me from moving my vehicle. Because you're holding me from moving my vehicle. You're holding me from moving my vehicle. You are holding me from moving my vehicle. That is kidnapping, bro. It's holding hostage. Look up the Nevada laws. You're not allowed to be right here. Right here. Yes. They used to have on-street parking in this area before they put the new bridge in. There used to be a safety post in the middle of here warning people that there was cross traffic. They took that out. And I said, the delineators are to help people be able to, to make curves. and said, oh, we can't put them here because of the snow. I said, the snow plows don't even plow this portion of it. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. It happens at least 10 times a day. Are you going to fight him? No. Why not? Because it says no parking anytime. Why isn't there a citation? It's right here. The signage is right here. Why do we even bother having bike lanes if they're not going to be enforced? Hopefully parking enforcement doesn't take 45 minutes to get here like they usually do. Right All right, now. so 484A.155. 484A.1555? Yep. Or what, 155? Yep. Okay, what's the definition of parking? So this one is saying park or parking means the standing of a vehicle, whether occupied or not. Otherwise, then temporarily for the purpose of while actually engaged in loading or unloading of merchandise for passengers. Okay. Are we allowed to load here then, instead of parking? Because pe he's yes, unloading. Correct. Is he allowed to load merchandise? Uh, un un yes. Load he's unload. allowed to come in a red zone and load. Yes. Where's the definition of loading? And do, and are we? I just read it to you and I just gave you the internet. Now you have you to look. Said parking. That's parking. This is parking. Okay. He had his vehicle turned off, and he was okay. in the the building. Not quite Okay, so Real I'm change. I'm now changing my complaint. This is, this is a parking enforcement I am, issue. We don't have the resources I am allowed to change my complaint. To deal with this. We're I am, not going to sit here all day in sight working people trying to deliver mail. We have other stuff going on in the city. It's taking up three officers. The to only deal with agency it. who is allowed to deliver U.S. mail is the United okay. States Postal Service. These is not mail. These are goods, parcels. Okay, so it's a private vehicle. It is not the United States Postal Service. Even with the United States Postal Service, in our handbook, it's specifically said that we are not allowed to park in red zones. So, loading. Our vehicles allowed to load and unload in red zones. Is there a Reno Municipal Code that talks about this? There they are. Um, 
He doesn't know? Well, we also know that semi trucks take up the entire lane on Virginia Street to make delivery. So he's that's gonna a, continue to look into it. That's a different, that, okay. that's in the medium. Regardless, I'm not taking action on delivery drivers today. Okay, so I highly recommend that you continue your, uh, your action and like being proactive in all your avenues that you've already cited and continue going down those avenues to try to find a solution to this. And maybe they can put posting or something like that. But today, I'm not taking action on delivery drivers delivering packages, okay? So are you aware that there is no loading and unloading in red zones? Okay, Any other, anything else we can do for you? The red zone has always been for loading and unloading. There's never stopping in a white zone. Don't tell me which zone is for stopping and which zone is for loading. Listen, Betty, don't start up with your white zone shit again. I'm asking you. Okay, and I've that already, I, Yes, you can answer my question. So that's that's what. He, if you want to speak to a sergeant, that's fine. But otherwise, why, we have other calls to go to. Why did you ask if there was anything else you could do for me if you're not willing to answer a question? Right, good. Right. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you very much, sirs. Have a good day, and ma'am. So, even though the trucks stop here and load and unload, yeah. the police department and parking enforcement is not aware of any rules, even though it says no parking anytime. They're not aware they're, of any rules, but they're not get, they're not giving them any citations. I told them that they park in the red zone, they park beyond the the yield line, and they're parked in the bike lane, and they're not going to give any citations out. The funny thing is, is I was standing in the bike lane, and the Amazon delivery driver said that I was holding him hostage and kidnapping him, <laughs> and he lied that he said he said that I put my hands on his hood to prevent him from leaving, which I did not do. And he wasn't realizing I was taping the entire thing. You, you it. Yeah. You, the yes man did that? Too? No, no. Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Yes. Oh, my God. Exactly. He's lying. I think I'm going to have to bring out my Gandalf suit and stand in the bike lane. <laughs> you shall not pass. 